Hi, welcome to Tasting with the Malt Guild. Today we're going to talk about the process of how to taste whiskey. First of all, you have to have some whiskey. We do have some right here. This particular whiskey um, is from Kentucky, and we are going to go through the process of, of tasting. And when we taste, we really want to think about the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And that is the exact process that you need to go through each and every single time that you taste whiskey. Eyes, nose, mouth. Why the eyes? Well, the eyes are going to help us prepare the nose and the mouth. We're looking at this. Now, this whiskey is from Kentucky, like I said. This whiskey right here is from Scotland. Look at the colorations. Look at how different they are. Warmer climate, cooler climate, older, younger. There are many things that you can learn by just looking at the whiskey. Many of the aspects of what gives whiskey color is wood. This is a stave. Um, it's a heavy number three char. And the whiskey comes off the still clear. It goes into wood clear, but it comes off the wood dark. It, it imparts color. Now that we evaluate the eyes and we're kind of taking in the color and looking at it, we also want to evaluate the oils. How heavy is this whiskey? Okay, when we go to about a 45 degree angle, we coat the glass and you can start to begin to see what we call the legs. These are the oils. This is the film that is on the glass itself. Okay, now these droplets that form, and the slower the droplet, the more oils, the thinner the droplet, the higher the alcohol. These are very big indicators as far as the complexity of the spirit. We also look at how fast they fall, and these we call these droplets either tears or we call them beads. Same thing, the term is interchangeable. So we're looking at the legs, we're looking at the droplets, the beads, the tears, and we're evaluating it. The second of all we want to do is nose it, and nosing is very important. We can pick up well over a thousand different flavors with our nose. Our palate, five, six, maybe seven, depending on who you listen to, um, who you're talking to, what experts out there as far as how we taste. Uh, the nose, of course, is much more complex, but the nose and palate are combined. To have these things work together is very important. If you just go ahead and taste without nosing, the flavor is instant. The flavor is intense. Is it pleasant? Is it not pleasant? It's, it's hard to evaluate because it hits the palate and it's gone. You swallow it, it's gone. Nosing, on the other hand, allows us to prepare the tongue. So we want to nose. And when, we, when we're nosing here, this is a copita glass. This is a nosing glass. And usually good copitas will have a wash glass cover. Wash glass cover, of course, keeps all the aroma in the whiskey itself, traps it there so that when we go to nose, we merely take it off, nose it. Now, there are two different thoughts of nosing. One thought is keeping the mouth open. The other thought is keeping the mouth closed. Two different schools. I particularly, the first time I nose, keep my mouth slightly open and I suck air in through my mouth the same time I breathe it in through my nose and take in the vapor. The first nose is going to be a lot of vapor. Okay. The second time you nose, you're going to have more of the rich, heavier components of, of the spirit itself. Um, more of the heavier oils, the phenols, um, 
you're not going to get so much of light esters, but a lot of the base materials you're going to uh, be able to pick up with the second nosing. And then the third nosing, you're going to get much more of the lighter, the esters, um, the lighter aspects of these of the of the whiskey because there's such a complexity here, that um, and such a wide variety of different taste profiles from the mash to the wood. Um, it really requires someone to take their time specifically when you nose this. You really need to take your time. 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds is not unheard of, okay? Take your time with the whiskey. Every time you smell something, it imparts a reaction a visual reaction, thoughts, uh, events, and every person is different. We have completely different experiences. So there is no right way. If I say I smell vanilla and you smell and you don't smell vanilla, is that a right or wrong? Absolutely not. Everyone is completely individual. This is a very personal process. Okay? Whiskey is great to be social with. But it's also very personal. What do you smell is not what I'm going to smell. We may smell the same things in some aspects. If we talk about it, well, I smell this. Mm, not so much, but I smell that. Ah, I get that too. And so it becomes a social element, but it's also very personal. And then you taste. Like I said, it's very good to nose for some duration before you taste. Tasting is instantaneous. The flavor is there and the flavor is gone. Nosing, however, allows the mouth to get a wide variety of flavor profiles built up in memory so that when you do finally taste, you get the whole experience. And really, whiskey is that's what it's about. It's about the whole experience. It's a very personal, but it's a very user-friendly as far as I'm concerned, um, and it's a much more of a social uh, drink as well. So, always visualize, beads, legs, color, nose, and then taste. And if you go through the process each and every time exactly the same way, you're going to find your enjoyment of whiskey goes much higher than what you get.